Whenever you're ready, give us a countdown, and then we will start it up. Okay. So, on go, I guess. Three, two, one, go. So, hello, I'm Expelliarre, and I'm running Pig Knight in Iperson, and I love Big Boom. Reason why I'm saying that is because I'm actually using a route that pretty much nobody else uses right now, which is... Uh, I'm using an extra uh, item, which we call Big Boom. And basically what it does is that it explodes things. And let's have, hopefully today and the weekend that we are running this marathon, we will explode the donation incentives and stuff, and we will explode COVID in the same time. Anyway, so Plague Knight has probably, for me, the best basic movement uh, in every in any campaigns in the, in the game because you can you can double jump and you can use the burst in combination to it so that way you go really fast and you can fly through any pretty much everything but they still made some areas of the game uh, made for plague knight so that way you don't actually fly over everything but otherwise it's pretty much the same design as shovel knight he also uses bombs, but you can only throw them three at a time, and it actually does uh, quite a lot of damage when used correctly, but I feel like Shovel Knight Shovel was actually a bit better for that. But yeah, play just flying everywhere, so that's pretty cool. And here we're gonna zip at the top of the screen. Fun fact, actually, um, YCG made that trick, uh, instead of it being a glitch, actually a thing. So you hear a sound, a small sound cue when you do it now, instead of just zipping through it and big all weird and, and stuff. And I'm gonna try to stunlock Black Knight. And I missed it. Woo! So that's gonna be a really long fight now, because he's really annoying to deal with when he's not staying in his corner and I'm gonna die, because why not? That's fine. Or not. And I didn't get the checkpoint, so ooh, that hurts. At least we have the zip. Well, can I say that never happened before? Because it actually never happened before. But, well, whatever. At least we show off that again. That's fine. It's not a long death, though, so that should be fine. So, Warwick is actually by Breadpan, which has a 38. My PB is a 40 arm 121, which is pretty far away from it. But, yeah, it was a long time ago, wasn't it? So, here. Okay, there you go. That's better. That's a stun knock. So hopefully, well, when you die, you lose some money. Well, you lose some money. You lose some bags of money that you can get back. But in this case, it was not too much of a problem because, I mean, I didn't have any money at, at that point, so whatever. And then we're gonna go to the village, which we can't enter because we are a villain. And villains can't go into the village because, well, I mean, we are a villain. So we're gonna real fast blow up that guy house, and that way we can get to our hub for the rest of the, the game, which is, well, filled with alchemy stuff that will let you help us fight COVID, and we have Mona, which is, um, I mean, it's kind of weird to say that, but it's basically the main goal of playing night, because He's trying to make a potion to impress Mona. And yeah, it's basically his love interest. And well, further into the story, I will explain what actually happens. But so far, we just want to create the potion to make us like the best potion ever, to make us stronger. Uh, yeah, that prog doesn't like me. But that's fine. So Shovenai has a bit of a, a fair bit of RNG to it, but usually it's not a big deal. But you lose like what one second two seconds but there's there are a lot of points in the game where you have a tiny bits of rng like that something you might see me doing as well is that you don't see me throwing a bomb when i'm charging the burst like you would usually do is because when you press the button fast enough you don't have to do it you don't have to throw a bomb so usually you might see people going to prime more keep first, which is a sh the, um, the stage of shovel or king knight. But oops, well that's not nice. Uh, there you go. But in my case, I need extra money to get big boom in the stage of king knight. So we're gonna go to spectre knight stage first. 
Ow. Well, that frog is not being nice. Again. That's fine. Uh, no. Leave me alone. Don't deserve that. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. And now we're gonna enter the the dark room that is pretty popular actually in this game because we do stuff without saying anything, but here we're just gonna fly over it. We actually have to land on that platform moving, but it's actually not that bad to do. And we're gonna get to a fight that can go really wrong if I don't do it properly, but we'll see. So here goes Spectre Knight. Here comes Spectre Knight. So I want him to stay in that corner, free free bombs, then throw free bombs here, go back there. Ah, I missed a bit, but that's fine. Ah, that's fine too. Ah, that's not fine. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit slow, but that's okay. Okay, that was fine actually. Yeah, that's very true. Well, we're not gonna talk about King Knight today, but yeah, <laughs> that's very true. So yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not leaving any space for donation right now, but I have a lot to talk about, but like after the next stage, we'll be able to talk to... I will be able to let the, the host talk a bit. So yeah, next stage is going to be Primal Keep, and in Primal Keep we want to get Big Boom, which is going to lead to... Actually, that's why I like running with Big Boom, just because there's a really funny thing to do to get it. Ah, well, that's not fine. Ow! Hmm, that'll do. So yeah, we are damage boosting a lot with Playing Knight, because Playing Knight actually gets... His damage boost push him, push, pushes him further back than Shovel Knight, which let us do more interesting things with it, and that's why we abuse it more. So we're coming up to the room I was talking about that is pretty interesting because for Shovel Knight usually you would, you would go through that wall pretty easily but for Plague Knight it's another story. It hurts a bit. Ouch! That's fine. Ouch! There you go. And so we find uh, Chester which is usually selling uh, stuff for Shovel Knight but in this story actually you get the relics of Shovel Knight and you trade them to Chester and that's how Chester gets the item to sell to Shovel Knight, but in this case we just buy the item and don't get the relic to give it to him. Uh, relics uh, of Shovel Knight are hidden in areas where Plain Knight can go and Shovel Knight can't, usually. So, that way you, you can get uh, the flame one here and trade it for Big Boom for free. But in our case, we won't just want to buy it because getting the relic is really slow. And there's actually a fun story about that. Uh, we thought that stealing relics and keeping them would make so that Shovel Knight couldn't get them, and you'll see what I'm talking about later in the run. But in fact, he still gets them, so... That's unfortunate. And... Patrick and myself worked on some strats that are called lazy strats, and if I get them, you'll understand why. So yeah, basically we don't do anything and just throw bombs right and left and that works. So you can take away for reading donations if you have any. Oh hey, thank you very much. We absolutely do. We have five dollars from Cosmic the Dolphin. What? Dying makes you lose money? Aren't we all supposed to lose money for donating? Thanks so much, everyone. That makes sense. Also yeah, it's also a pretty good time to mention that um we did we have a the next game we actually have a big incentive coming up for it. Next game is Mania. You want to uh, play that game without the supersonic music overriding everything, and we have a two hundred dollar incentive that we need to get met for that one. And if you want that sweet sweet T Lopes music, trust me, you really want to get that one met. So yeah, we get big, why do we get Big Boom? Uh, big Boom was actually used in the task made by Kilai uh, a while ago. And Big Boom gives you some extra movement options, as you will see here, if I get it properly. There you go. And lets you destroy blocks really fast compared to 
with classic bombs. Oh, well, that's not gonna be nice. Mm, yeah, that's not gonna work. That's unfortunate. Ow. Okay, that's not great. Ow. Yeah, I probably have to heal because I'm in a really bad state, but that's fine. Also, another weird gimmick thing with the with uh, Big Boom is that if you throw it while you're uh, going down, you go down faster. Or rather, you hit your top speed faster. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Thank you. So unfortunately, for the Alchemister, which is coming up really soon, uh, there's actually a quick kill to do, but I'm totally unable to do it. I was close, actually. Yeah, I was really close. Unfortunate. Oh well, that's fine. Free to is still better than actually doing it the normal way with just bombs, so... That's fine. So you will see me getting hit a lot through that stage. It's because we have to do a really weird setup for Shovel Knight. Oh yeah, uh, the boss of this stage is Shovel Knight. Because, I mean, you're playing the villain of this stage, so obviously you have to fight someone else, and that someone else is... Well, I wanted to get hit by that guy, thank you. And obviously in this case it's gonna be Shovel Knight. And we want to get a Sunlock, but to get a Sunlock we have to be at 2 HP. Otherwise he's gonna use an item called... Uh, I'm gonna get Ayako Skip, nice. That's cool. If I was at more than that 0.5 HP, he was, he was gonna use an item called the Phase Locket. And the story I was talking about is that we tried to steal the Phase Locket from in the game, but for some reasons he still has it in the fight, so yeah, that's one thing. And yeah, here you feel like, oh, Shovel Knight is actually not that nice, he's betraying Plague Knight, but uh, the developers actually said that uh, when you play a character, you're playing the game from his point of view, which means that Plague Knight might not tell the story as it should be. While Shovel Knight's point of view is probably the, the actual real point of view, but that's one thing, I guess. So here we're going to Iron Whale, which is actually a pretty fun stage. At least I think it is. Water doesn't matter too much for Plague Knight. You are floating, obviously, but it's not as... I feel like it's not as bad for Plague Knight as it is, than it is for Shovel Knight. You still have to be careful, obviously, because you're floating longer and stuff like that. Ow. Well, that's fine, I guess. Ow. That's not fine. Okay. Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I like getting hit. I don't know why, but I like it. So here we're gonna throw a big boom here, and... Uh, no, it didn't work. That's fine. So it went through. That's one thing that's pretty nice for Plague Knight, is that he has a double jump, and that lets you sometimes save your life when you're doing a mistake or two. And the burst as well, recharge really fast, so you don't actually have to deal with that too much as well. Ow. Well, there was something I didn't want to go for, but I'll go for it. Fine. I went too high, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's not gonna be great. I still got it, well, fine. I'll take it. For safety, I'm gonna heal. Uh, there you go. I probably didn't need it, but that's fine. So here you would usually damage boost, but with Big Boom you can just destroy the enemy you damage boost on and get past everything, which is pretty nice. Uh, uh, that was weird. Ow. Just let me get through. No, thank you. There you go. That was weird. And here you're gonna see that we're gonna we can go actually really fast in that room at the end. 
because we don't have to deal with that guy. Well, I was supposed to get through it, but apparently I, wasn't, I didn't. That's fine. And we're going to get to the Treasure Knight fight, and if, if that fight goes well... Ooh, that was weird. It can go pretty fast. So you might have seen me get potions. Those potions give you an extra HP and heal you for an HP when you use it. Mm. Okay, that was not that bad, but it could have been better. And you might... You might have a donation. I might. Well, in fact, I do. We wow. have $5 from Newt, who says, Want to say thanks to everyone that is helping to make this event happen. Here's five for Gon Gon and Super Monkey Ball. That's right, if y'all like uh, throwing down in the field of bid war, we do have the upcoming monkey choice for Super Monkey Ball. And right now, Gon Gon, the biggest boy, is winning. And now we're getting to uh, Lost City, which is probably the stage, one of the stage where we use Big Boom the most. Well, or at least should use Big Boom the most. There are some parts of the stage that I don't want to use it because it's too risky. For example, here. Oh, well, that's bad. That should be fine, though. There you go. You can use Big Boom there to get through that a bit faster, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Hmm, probably should have got that checkpoint. Yeah, probably should have. That's fine, though. Because I'm, like, I'm, like gonna, I'm gonna skip another one here. Oops. Well, I guess getting health is not that bad. Here, for example, you can... Ah. Well, I was supposed to destroy that at the same time, but that's fine. There you go. So there's not much to talk in this stage, rather than... Yeah, we use Big Boom a lot to get through the stage, and... Try to actually play well, but that's not something I'm good at, apparently, today. Oh, there's also a big boom strat here, where you get through that guy without getting hit. Like so. And I'm gonna play it safe. Or not. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. There we go. And here I'm gonna try to use a set of bombs and big booms at the same time to deal with more knights. There you go. Could have been a bit better, but I like it. And now it's donation time! Because it's story time, so donation time, I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, I love story! Well, perhaps, maybe not during the middle of a speed run, though. So, I just want to make sure that uh, everybody remembers we have, in fact, managed to fix the Tiltify links. Now, the donation targets are working. So, the upcoming 204 Disabling Supersonic Music in Mania is, in fact, now active, along with also unlocking Expert any percent in Super Monkey Ball, which is uh, 50 levels in two minutes. That's a uh, that's quite a thing to behold if you've never seen it. So two things that you can now put your hard-earned dollars toward while you are also supporting Direct Relief in their efforts to help with the COVID-19 crisis. So yeah, about the story actually. You see those cutscenes with Mo with Mona. Uh, Mona is trying to trick Plague Knight into being. Romantic, I guess, but it's not working that well because there's always someone to. Uh, how can I say that? Whoa, well, I didn't want to go that high. To bother them, and usually that guy is Percy, the horse guy you see time to time. And there's also Black Knight that might not help with that, but you'll see him later. 
So here we're gonna take a lot of damage boost to go faster, but that's fine. And now we're gonna have to fight. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Yeah, that was kind of slow, but that's fine. And we're getting to this stage first, because we want to get the best weapon in the game, which is the Staff of Striking. Which costs actually a, a pretty penny of 9,000 gold, which is a lot, but as I said earlier, getting the Relic is actually slower, so we'd rather spend some money. And please, spend the money to save people from COVID, I guess that works too. I mean, if Plague Knight can find a solution, that would be nice, since he's an alchemist and all, but usually he's more into explosion and stuff, so... Yeah, might not help with it. So there's a guy that's pretty annoying here. Oh, actually, that was fine. Yuri is really annoying, but... There was not. And now we have to hear because of the scroll stuff, you know. We're bored. I guess you can take, you can give a donation now. Oh, I would be delighted to. We have ten dollars from anonymous who says Jeff in 4D. Ooh. Yeah, that's one entire extra dimension of Jeff. And we have twenty dollars from Shredberg who says, "Baby, thank you." Channel a little bit of the Mona spirit there. Once again, folks, I'd like to remind you that we have only about 45 minutes left to go on that Mania Incentive. We are currently sitting at 23 of 200. Y'all have really come alive since we got that thing active again, and we can absolutely hit that. I believe in y'all. Let's make that happen. So you saw me going uh, just on the spikes, which was really dangerous, and here's the second lazy strat. There you go. See, we like to call those lady, those strats lazy strats because you're pretty much the only thing we're doing is inputting bombs and directions. But that one actually needed a bit more stuff to do. So, but that was a good fight. And now that we have all the weapons, there is still one thing we need to buy, but it's still pretty expensive. It's actually 10,500, and it's power upgrades. Those power upgrades are actually really important for the staff more than Big Boom. But now we actually have to deal with Black Knight again, which is not always, not a nice thing, because we, I don't like to fight him, but I, I have to, so I'm going to have to do it. And we're going to try to do the same stun lock before longer, basically. But from that Sunok, he might jump out of it. Yeah, that's... Mm. I was nearly able to get it back. Mm, that was... Yeah. That was still a good backup. Unfortunately, he didn't go, like, insanely wild, so... was fine. But yeah, like yesterday, it cost me 23 seconds in one fight, so that was funny. So here, instead of uh, Mona going, coming from like uh, the lift, we have Percy because Black Knight said, "Oh uh, yeah, Pl Plague Knight is not in love with you; he's in love with uh, someone else or stuff like that." And so Mona just ran away, basically. And yeah, so now, oh, okay, that's not something I wanted to do, but I saved it, so I guess that's fine. So if you don't like that room, Big Bone's gonna help you. There you go. So yeah, Big Bone destroys a lot of um, blocks. So, that helps, I guess. And... 
This stage is as hard as it is for Shonai than it is for Plague, so yeah, that's a thing. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's a bad death. Mm, mm, yeah, I'm going back really far. That's fine. I guess that's what you get for missing a strat. Ow. I've got a moment. We can maybe squeeze in a donation or two here. Yeah, you can. Go ahead. All right. We have ten dollars from Metal Glen Saud, who says the supersonic track is dead. Crab emoji. Well, that's a donation, I guess. Sure is. Ow. I can get loud too, but I mean, I kind of want people to keep their uh, earring functionality or, so, or something like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's important. Maybe it's not. Because I can be insanely loud, hence my name, but my nickname rather. And here's here's come the Polonite fight. Ow! Well, that didn't go as planned, but that's fine. He's still dead, though. Or rather, he's knocked out. Because we're gonna see them later on. Oh yeah, I, didn't, I was not talking about what we're getting from them, actually. We're getting some kind of energy power that we need to use for the, the so-called potion we need, we, we, we're trying to make. And we actually got one from Shovel Knight, which was surprising. Because Plague didn't think about that. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm actually missing money. Oh. But it is fine because I have backup money. So we got actually we're gonna have this little guy. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. I actually can't, I didn't I don't remember how you give him back the the sheets. Oh you have to talk to Percy, right. I kinda forgot about that. There you go. That's fine. No! Well, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm not used to getting money that way, so I forgot to buy the power. So now I got money for nothing, and I'm still and I have to go to take a nice stage. That's fine. It's fine. I got extra money for nothing. Well, if I could give it to Kaliton, I guess that would be nice. Oops. Well, that's supposed to be destroyed, but that's fine. So yeah, this stage then, we've got enough power to use in, the, in it, but that's fine. Well, the, I actually need the power more for the fight, the boss fight, than the stage in itself, so... That's not gonna be a big deal for now, but for the boss fight, it's gonna be a bit annoying, but... I have a backup, so that should be fine, I guess. Here we're gonna skip the auto scroller because that's one of the few we can actually skip. Because it's technically not an auto scroller, but well, I mean, we're just gonna fly over it. There you go. Uh, I didn't want to get hit twice there. That should be fine. So let's dance a bit and dodge a knife. Yeah, because those are not sign knives, they're not missiles. Because why not? So actually they made that auto scroller less rippy for Plague Knight because you have like here instead of having two small platforms you have one big and you also have a platform to the left a bit below to help you. So 
So we're gonna get to uh, good old Tinker Knight, and for some reason that guy is weak to bombs. Well, that's not something I wanted to do. That's fine. That was a little f slow fight. So he's, for some reason he's weak to bombs, and the staff of striking is considered as a bomb, for some reason. But I guess that's fine. So yeah, since I'm uh, I kind of want to not lock my power. So yeah, when you run out of power. Your item is locked for the, or the duration of replenishing your bar, but I mean, that's fine. So let's not forget to get the power now, because I actually really need it for the rest of the run. For Tinker Knight, it's not a big deal, but for the rest, it's actually a big deal. So let's not forget it. Let's, ac let's actually spend our money. And speaking of spending money, do we have donations? Why, yes. Yes, we do. We have $3 from Tayman with no comment. And we have $10 from some dork named Gruntulex who says, I love being super, but I love sweet Sonic jams even more. Let's blow up the repetitive music like Explout is blowing up everything in his way. And hey, speaking of that incentive, we are currently sitting at $33 of 200. We are moving toward it, but you've only got about 32 minutes before that one locks down. So come on, folks, let's do it. Let us give our eardrums a treat. What? Oh, my, my bad. You, you I can't hear you! You said eardrums! So I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I! Now you know why I'm called expert here. Oh, well, I, I actually killed one of my minions. Oh, well, that's fine. I guess Shovanai is a minion. Uh, Shovanai is a villain. Uh, Shovanai, Plague Knight is a villain. In the eyes of Plague Knight, Shovanai is a villain. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get out of my situation, okay? Trying to get out of saying dumb stuff. Which I do all the time, so... That's fine, I guess. So, now we are in Tower 1, Tower of Fate entrance. And... Yeah, this stage is kinda hard. Kinda of hard. Actually, something I didn't talk about is that the fact that Plague Knight actually gets extra health for free in this... Uh, Campaign compared to any other characters. They actually have to work hard for it. I was gonna say something, but then I realized that was really dumb, so I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> and now people are gonna be, is he gonna say it? If you do a donation, so I'm gonna say it. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Or is he? Yeah, I'm really kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not what you really call family friendly jo fl friendly joke. So yeah, I'm kidding. Really. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting close to the end of this stage, and we didn't talk about it because there's nothing to talk about this stage. It's fine. I mean, maybe the boss, actually. So the boss, I want to skip a really precise phase of the fight. Uh, which is basically him be becoming invincible and entering a shoot them up phase. Ah. Uh. Uh, at least I didn't get the phase, but... Okay, that was a good kill. Not the best kill, but that was a good kill. So yeah, basically what I did is that I threw a big boom at the beginning to force him to continue walking forward towards me, and then throwing bombs until he was low enough to not do his uh, shoot-em-up phase. This is actually way faster kill than that, but I'm just not able to execute it. So I'd rather go for that one, which is a bit easier, but still d does the job that it, it is supposed to do. And now we're gonna enter probably the part I hate the most about Plague Knight's uh, run. Which is a boss rush. And actually, it's not the, the boss rush itself that is a problem, it's just that the last boss of uh, the boss rush is Shovel Knight. 
And if you remember, I talked about the fact that we need to be at two health or less to for him to not use one of his items. Which means that I have to get at two health or less during the boss rush. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And hopefully those guys are going to play you nicely. There you go. Sometimes they try to be in front of you, which is fine. Or they can try to damage to attack you directly, which is okay, I guess. Even though not really. So here I'm going to take damage on purpose. I'm going to get to four health. Or four bubbles, rather. Because taking a kid's eight health. For the reason I was talking about, to get a two health at the end of the boss rush. But it might not go according to plan because in the boss rush you get plates that gives you health and, uh, well, in this case, power regen. But we can can don't want to heal. We cannot don't want to heal in this run or in this boss rush at least. So mm, yeah, it's not gonna be. A nice thing if we heal, especially if we heal at the end of the, of the of the boss rush, that would be problematic. But not getting any heal and getting really low is fine because we still have those five potions that I got throughout the stages, and I bought an extra uh, when I got the power. Since I have, since I had too much money, because I actually had to buy it later than usual. Because, yeah, why not? And I'm gonna take that checkpoint because, yeah. Because show night can be troublesome and we don't want to have to deal with going through the full stage again. So that's something you may have heard already a long time ago, but... Or actually not a long time ago. Is that... Pona Knight has to be in the three first fights, and here we got it in the first one. But yeah, if he's not in the first two, he's gonna be in the third one. Oh. Guaranteed. That was fine. Health-wise, I'm pretty good. I kind of wanted to get pull on, proper night now, but I guess that'd be fine. So here we want to stun lock. Propeller into the wall. I actually did too much damage to him. That's fine though. Ooh, that was actually really good. So here opening the plate is not a bad thing because we don't have to be at that place anytime soon. There you go, that was a really good kill. And now I kind of want to... Ah, they really don't get, want to give me... Actually, that's a really bad thing here. Yeah. So that was, that's what I was talking about. Oh, well. I guess that's fine. Yeah, here I kind of want to heal. And I'm gonna get King Fiddies. Damn, that's not nice. I'm gonna heal actually again. Mm. That's actually not a bad fight to get now. I'm actually happy to be on the left side. I may not have to deal with the plate on, in the middle, which would be perfect. I actually need to get damage once. Uh, I guess that's fine. Yeah. I kind of need... Oh, I needed my power back. And I'm going to try to sunlock that guy.
There you go, very nice. So what it does is that I throw big bomb at the beginning to get double hits until he heals. And then I throw three bombs in like in the in emptiness while he's invincible. That way it forces him to jump. And I tend set his jump with big boom, which forces him back into the corner and lets me get the double hit again on the fight, on the boss fight. Like a couple double hits actually. I don't get full double hits, but I like I get like four or five double hits, which is pretty good. And that's one of the best features of big boom of the big boom route is that you don't have to deal with a really bad and hard fight. Because that fight you would have to do a stun lock with staff bomb, staff bomb, which is actually not that hard to execute, but you have to do it like what? 20 times in a row? Here I can just mash. I have to properly throw the big booms, but I don't actually have to be proper on my input for the bombs, so yeah. Oh, and if you are afraid to do that room, you can just damage boost through everything, that's fine. Because you're gonna always land in the platform behind you, on the platform behind you. I mean, if you land in the platform, I'm gonna question like clipping and stuff. So, because Shovel Knight doesn't have a lot of clipping actually in glitches, but yeah, that would be interesting. There are sounds, but the way the walls work is that when you clip through something, the wall doesn't exist anymore, so you can't really do anything about it. And I'm gonna fly an Enchantress. Actually, a really good health point. That was a really good fight, there you go. Wow, I got lucky for once. Usually I'm insanely unlucky with Enchantress, but I guess for a Marvel I'm getting, I'm getting lucky, so I'm pretty happy about it. And now we're gonna have... Usually you would get... For sure now you would get the last fight against Enchantress, but in this case we're, gonna, we're not gonna fight the Enchantress anymore. Because she's basically like, oh, it's fine, just just get that thing and just get out of my sight. Don't want to deal with you. The problem is that the person is unstable and is going to transform into yourself. Because why not? Why well, he stuck himself? That was a good fight, there you go. And now we're gonna fight uh, what I like to call Ridley. Because it looks a bit like the statue of Super, Super, Super Metroid, in a way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try to two-cycle that guy. Ah, yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's fine. And time, there you go. Well, that was better than I expected. I mean, minus the two deaths. And I was playing nine eighty percent with big boom. I have to pre to be precise. I have to. The estimate is pretty big compared to the time I did because I wasn't I didn't have much time to do rest, but I still got a time I'm happy with, so that's pretty good. And I hope you enjoyed the run. I guess we don't really need to get to the credits since we are a bit behind schedule, so I guess I throw it to the host. to someone, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take it. Xplaud, thank you so much. That run was incredibly entertaining. Chat, chat, make sure that Xplaud can see just how fantastic his run was. Let him see it, come on! Make the check, Xplaud. No, wait, that was wrong. <laughs> yes, no, that's fine, that's perfect. Do that, do that very thing.
Yeah, I do yes. sure love Big Boom for sure. Yeah. But yeah. If they didn't love Big Boom before. They, sh I'm sure they do now. Yeah. And yeah, f thank you for uh, letting me opening the Marvel. I was actually very surprised by that. So. And I hope everybody did a good job. So yeah. Have a nice day, I guess. And please continue donating, donating because we need it. We badly need it. Once again, Explode, I don't think we could have asked for a better way to start off this marathon. And for those of you who may just be joining us, this marathon is Calithon Presents COVID Relief, raising money for direct relief in their efforts to help funding to help fund medical relief for people being treated for and dealing with.